kids are the future of Idaho. They are the future of our outdoors, and they will help us be stewards of our great outdoors in the state of Idaho. I can't think of a better way uh, to build relationships and bond as a foster family than enjoying our great outdoors and our excellent parks. Adams says in Idaho, there are around 1,400 children in foster care and just over 1,100 licensed foster homes. Keeping these families and welcoming more to the program is crucial. I hope today is the first of many public-private partnerships that the department will be engaging in to support and retain our foster families. The Idaho State Foster Family Passport will give foster families annual free passes to all state parks and the opportunity to learn all kinds of skills. And our rangers are really excited to have those programs, teach people how to camp, how to put up a tent, how to maybe do Dutch oven cooking, how to fish, how to maybe paddleboard, how to, how to be in the water safely. Really making it an educational experience and a family bonding experience. One foster family shared their experiences and how special it was for the child and for them. Just their excitement, that's just their Never pure excitement of being out there and doing something that's just so it's just so basic, but it's so different for them because they haven't experienced it. And to, to you know, really experience that and then understand how important it is and what it, why we want to preserve it for the next generations. The right place and right time is something IDHW has often spoke about. A majority of the time, they say the right place is with a family. And when you're in a family home environment, the more that it feels like a loving, safe, nurturing home, the better the outcomes for the child. Getting outdoors, having that bonding time, sitting around a campfire, roasting marshmallows, those are core memories that hopefully many of these children will have for years to come. Nature is just one of those things that, that calms everyone down. Playing in rivers and you get creative and fishing, camping, there's just something about it that brings a family together as a group, especially when you have new kiddos that are joining. Lucky Peak itself welcomes about a million people a year to come and experience the area and Idaho Parks and Rec are so excited for even more families to be able to get out and enjoy all of our parks. Reporting at Lucky Peak, I'm Savannah Hankard.